What's up again, everybody? This is Jose Gagnon, the super random guy here again today. And uh, I'm here to do a special video for you. It's a tribute to a YouTuber that used to uh, make a lot of really amazing, great Thomas the Train videos. His his name was, uh, well, I don't know his actual name, but his YouTube name was Turtles and Thomas. So I wanted to make a big tribute to him because he ended up leaving the Thomas community a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so basically, you know, I, I wanted to do a remake of one of his episodes, like a really great episode he did with his Turtles ER, ERTLs series. Or Turtles Ertles, however you say it pretty much. But um, yeah, I just wanted to remake an episode with the... Uh, pictures of the characters that I have, you know, from Thomas the Tank Tank Engine. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Get the greatness. Have the amazing happy times. And I miss you, Turtles and Thomas. You did the amazing great videos. Even though you probably don't even know who I am. But you know, this is a tribute to you and your amazing Turtles Ertles or Turtles E R T L's series. Thank you very much for doing this for us. Intro music is uh, created by, uh, I gotta look it up real quick, sorry. One Tram Band, so thank you for, I'm just borrowing, you know, the, in, this for my intro to the episode. Hopefully you don't mind. Um, since the intro music's going on, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be narr- like, this, this will be narrated by myself, instead of, you know, the person that did it in the original, you know, episode for, you know, Turtles and Thomas, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be the one narrating, you know, this episode. Just because, you know, I want to, you know, do my little version, to be honest. You know what I mean? After Sir Topham had it asked Oliver and Toad to help the other engines, they each had their own adventure. First, Oliver got lost and found an abandoned station. Then, Toad's forward-thinking views made a splash on the main line. We all do respect Mr. Oliver, said Toad. I think we've both had our fair share of adventures for a while. I couldn't agree more, Toad, said Oliver. They had just arrived at the workstation when they heard a strange wheezing sound. What's that noise, Mr. Oliver? asked Toad. I think it's coming from one of the little engines, Toad. And it was.
Excuse me, do you mind? Oh, sorry. I was just couldn't help but hear you coughing. Are you feeling all right? Quite all right, thank you. Just a problem with my tubes. They'll soon sort themselves out. Oh, that's a relief. Uh, my name is Toad, by the way. I'm Mr. Oliver's brake van. Hello there. A pleasure, Oliver and Toad, said Duke. I must say, it's nice to see the big railway look out for the little one. After that, the pair continued to hit it off well. Toad would check in to see how old Duke was getting on, but Duke's cough seemed to get worse and worse. Then one day, Duke never arrived. Where's Mr. Duke? I don't know, Toad. I suppose he's working somewhere else today. Excuse me, have you seen Mr. Duke? He asked when he saw Sir Handel. How should I know? He wasn't in the shed last night. Perhaps he was considerable enough taking his wheezing somewhere else. Oh, no. Well, thank you anyway, Mr. Sir Handel. That's Sir Handel. Just Sir. What a strange break, Van. Mr. Oliver, I think something terrible has happened to Mr. Duke. Mr. Oliver, I'm afraid that I must resign from my duties as being your brake man for the day. Someone, must, someone needs to look after Mr. Duke's well-being. Oliver was skeptical at first, but he still shunted Toad into a siding near the works. Are you sure about this, Toad? Positively, Mr. Oliver. I'm sure you can find another brake van to fill in for me. Um, all right, if you say so. Toad was on high alert. And all was quiet in the yard for some time, that is, until... Oh, hello, Toad. I'm about to take some trucks to the station in the valley. What brings you here? I need you to bring me with you, Mr. Douglas. I think something terrible has happened to Mr. Duke, and I want to be on the lookout. I, then you can certainly tag along if you'd be wanting. We might run into some of the wee engines on the way. You're a lifesaver, Mr. Douglas. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't pay it no mind. And so the search began. Douglas and Toad searched high and low for Duke. There was no engines to be found except for a diesel. Excuse me, Mr. Diesel. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't really see myself as a mister. I prefer being called something like... The little diesel, if you don't mind. Or Rusty. Rusty works. Oh, my apologies, Rusty the little diesel. Have you seen Mr. Duke by any chance? Can I say, um, I'm afraid I haven't seen him all day. It wouldn't hurt to check the valley station, though. Oh, thank you. We will. But I'm sorry to say that when Douglas and Toad ventured to the end of the line, Duke was nowhere to be found. Oh no, he's not here either. Don't affash yourself, Toad. Perhaps Duke is just having a wee bit of rest or working in the quarry. Toad wasn't convinced. On their return journey, something caught Douglas's eye. Toad! I think I see another wee engine ahead. Hooray! Well done, Mr. Douglas. Is it Mr. Duke? It could be. It certainly looks like the wee fellow, but he's a different shade of brown. Stop! We have to stop! Lush sakes, Toad. You're not Mr. Duke. Yes, I'm afraid not. 
I get that a lot, honestly. I suppose if I were a tank engine, it would be easier to tell us apart. Good day to you both. Now, both all Douglas and Toad were keen to carry on, but there was another problem. Toad had given himself a wheel flat, and he needed repairs. He thought the day's search had been for naught until... Mr. Duke! You're all right! Oh, wait! No! You're at the works! Are you well? Of course I am, smiled Duke. My, my tube just needed to be claimed. I tell you, I was coughing up a storm each night. I'm sure the other engines would have shunted me here if I didn't come myself. I'm just happy I found you, Mr. Duke. I withdrew from my normal duties to make sure you were safe. But I think doing so only caused more problems. I can certainly see that. Mr. Oliver! Oh, goodness me! What happened? The trucks were playing their tricks and I lost my temper again. Oh, I wouldn't have been so cross if I had you with me. Hmm. I appreciate your concern, Toad. But I think there's another engine that needs you more than I do. Oliver and Toad, now grinning at their sorry states, heartily agreed. The three are now great friends. They love to share tales of their adventures whenever they meet. But I'm sure you'll agree that Oliver and Toad can tackle any adventure when they watch each other's back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Boom, boom.